What up, guys? Hola, ¿qué tal? It's your girl Chiquis from the Chiquis and Chill and Dear Chiquis podcasts. And guess what? We're back for another season. Get ready for all new episodes where I'll be dishing out honest advice, discussing important topics like relationships, women's health, and spirituality. I'm sharing my experiences with you guys, and I feel that everything that I've gone through has made me a wiser person. And if I can help anyone else through my experiences, I feel like I'm living my godly purpose. Listen to Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Dwayne Wade, and I've been blessed to have so many titles so far in my life. But now I'm adding podcast hosts with my new podcast called The Why with Dwayne Wade. On this show, I will have intimate conversations with some of the biggest names in sports, in music, in entertainment, in fashion. And we will discuss the whys in their lives. Listen to The Why with Dwayne Wade on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you can get your podcasts. Hey, everyone. It's Sophia Bush, host of the podcast Work in Progress. And I am thrilled to tell you that Work in Progress is back for a third season. It has never been more important than right now to have these conversations with all of you so that we can get educated, enlightened, and we can all be entertained. I will be sitting down and having deep conversations with thought leaders, newsmakers, celebrities, elected officials, and more. Listen to Work in Progress on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. First date follow-up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at AdvocatesLaw.com. Allegra is on the phone today for a first date follow-up. She's getting ghosted by a dude named Harold. So in a few minutes, we're going to call him and see if he'll tell us why he's ghosting her and maybe get her another date. But first, Allegra, how long has it been since you heard from him? Oh, man. It has been about 12 days already. How many times have you tried to reach out to him in the 12 days? A few. Like, I'm not going crazy, but I've sent a few texts on a few different days, and, uh... I haven't heard a response since our first date ended, actually. Okay, well, let's go back to that. Um, Want to tell us about your date and how it ended? Yeah, I mean, it was like a typical date. You know, we decided to meet up for drinks, and we were having such a good time that we actually ended up getting dinner, had some good Italian food, then we had more drinks. So <laughs> it was a good date. Like, it was several hours. Oh, okay. That would make me feel like it was a good date. Yeah. Right. No, he definitely liked me. Like, he was really into it. So how do you know that? Well, I mean, first of all, you don't stay several hours if you're not feeling someone, you know, and his body language was into me. The conversation was flowing like, you know, he sent me a really nice text when he got home at the end of the date. He just hasn't been responsive since then. And that's why I'm like, something's up. Like, it's just not adding up. So he texted you when he got home. What did he say? He just said that he had a great time and to have a good night, like very typical, you know, Was there any talk about a second date while you were on that date? Like, oh, that'd be fun for us to try next time or any kind of subtle hints like that? We said comments like that multiple times. Like, oh, "Oh my gosh, you haven't seen that movie? I'll totally go with you again. Like, oh, "Oh my gosh, that happened. Let's do that together. So we didn't specify like a second date, but we definitely had the vibe of seeing each other again. And there's nothing that you can think of on the date that happened that could have been awkward? awkward we are very different he um you know he's kind of like a buttoned up dude that's taken life pretty seriously and i'm kind of the opposite like don't get me wrong i have my stuff together but Mm -hmm. you know i'm carefree Mm -hmm. (laughs) i like to have fun um but like i don't know i don't really think that was an issue i feel like he was really into me and i made it clear that i am very into him like very what do you mean by made it clear (laughs) (laughs) tell us more like I'm physically attracted to him, but I let him know, like, he's my ideal type of guy. Like, it's really hard to find a guy that you're attracted to physically that also has their stuff together. Like, he is making a life for himself. He shared that he kind of grew up in a bad situation, and now he's made a life for himself. And that's, like, that checks all my boxes. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. Do you think maybe it was, like, um, too much for him? Uh, You know, I don't know. I mean, that's why I need your help. Like, to me, we balance each other perfectly. But, you know, maybe he's feeling a different way. And after he thought about things, he decided I'm not a good fit. But I really think that I am. So I don't, I need your help. Did you tell him that he checks all your boxes? I didn't say that specifically. But, I mean, I did let him know, like, man, this is impressive. Like, okay. I'm really digging what he's doing in life. Hmm. He also 
kissed me goodbye. And it wasn't something that I was encouraging. Like, I I mean, I wanted to kiss him, but I wasn't going to force that on him. I mean, he pulled me in and did not let me go when we were hugging. And the kiss was excellent. So, again, the chemistry, fully there. Was it an open mouth kiss or a closed (laughs) mouth kiss? That's important to know. It was like a... 10-minute open-mouth kiss. Oh, really? oh, okay, so that was like make-out. <laughs> Girl, I would have already showed up at his house after all of this. 12 what? days? <laughs> I let your tongue in my mouth. Nina! <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we'll try to figure it out for you then. Hey, guys, it's Roger from Bull Oak. Listen, are you struggling from erectile dysfunction? You're not alone. There is a solution, but you need to take the first step and ask for help. Contact us now at Bull Oak Medical Clinic of D.C. We have a groundbreaking solution that's transformed the lives of thousands of men and is now available here. Our wave technology is backed by 50 clinical studies, including research from prestigious Cambridge University. It revitalizes blood flow by repairing blood vessels, all without the need for pills and no side effects. If you're ready to end your erectile dysfunction struggles, contact us now and get a discreet free assessment and blood flow ultrasound. Visit BullOakClinics.com. That's BullOakClinics.com. Your first treatment's on us. That's right. Schedule an appointment and your first treatment is free. This is a $600 value. Call in the next two minutes. 703-337-1919. That's 703-337-1919. Reclaim your love life and put an end to your erectile dysfunction. Call 703-337-1919 or visit bulloakclinics.com. What up, guys? Hola, que tal? It's your girl Cheekies from the Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies Podcasts. You've been with me for season one and two, and now I'm back with season three. I am so excited, you guys. Get ready for all new episodes where I'll be dishing out honest advice and discussing important topics like relationships, women's health, and spirituality. For a long time, I was afraid of falling in love. So I had to, and this is a mantra of mine or an affirmation every morning where I tell myself, it is safe for me to love and to be loved. I've heard this a lot, that people think that I'm conceited, that I'm a mamona. And a mamona means that you just think you're better than everyone else. I don't know if it's because of how I act in my video sometimes. I'm like, I'm a baddie. I don't know what it is, but I'm chill. It's Cheekies and Chill. Hello. Listen to Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies as part of the My Cultura Podcast Network on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Nicole Perkins, and in my new podcast, The Godmother... I'm inviting you to 1930s New York. At what would become known as the trial of the century, infamous mob boss Lucky Luciano is finally taken down. But this is not Lucky's story. I want to tell you the extraordinary story of Eunice Carter, the trailblazing black female lawyer who put Lucky Luciano behind bars. At a time when black history is being erased, telling Eunice's story is more urgent than ever. She took down the country's most notorious gangster, but somehow she's been largely forgotten. The influence that you have while you're alive matters, even if after you're gone, everyone forgets about you. Listen to The Godmother with me, Nicole Perkins, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. First date follow-up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at AdvocatesLaw.com. Right in the middle of your first date follow-up, if you're just joining us, Allegra is on the phone, and it's been 12 days since she heard from Harold, a guy she went on a date with, and now we're about to call him and see if he'll tell us why he's ghosting her and maybe get her another date. But before we do that, Allegra, why don't you catch everybody up on your situation? Yeah, so like you said, this guy Harold and I hit it off. We had a great first date. It ended with an amazing kiss. And I really think there's potential for this to be something. However, Harold isn't responding to text messages anymore. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, you ready for us to call him and see if he'll tell us why he's ghosting you? A hundred percent. (laughs) Yes. All right. Here we go. This is Harold. Hey, Harold. How are you? My name is Jubal. I'm calling from a radio show. It's called The Jubal Show. How are you? Hi, Harold. The whole show's here, too. My name's Nina. Hi, and I'm Victoria. I'm fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. So, did you hear where we're calling from? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. This is so formal. Yeah. I know. Uh, are you at work? Yes, I am. But I have a, I have a moment. I may help you. Um, we're calling from... So, we, it's a radio show called The Jubal <laughs> Show, and we do a segment on our show that if somebody gets ghosted from a date that they went on, 
um, that person can have mm-hmm. us email them to get them on the phone and ask why they're getting ghosted. And so we got an email about you from someone who listens to the show. And who is this? Um, her name is Allegra. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I understand. All right. Do you? Yeah. Would you mind telling us why you're not calling her back? She said it's been 12 days since you guys hung out, and she really... Let me I, walk, walk up my office for a moment. Um, uh, to be truthful with you, she was a wonderful girl. I had a great time with her. I uh, hit it off. I was attracted to her. I, I hope she was attracted to me. But in the interim and in all said and done, honestly, she was too hot. She was absolutely too gorgeous of a woman. And what? I've learned coming up, uh, I please hear me out. I've learned as a man coming up the way I have from poverty to being in that environment that the good looking girls are too high maintenance. It's, it's, it's almost like a dream that's, that's too good. You cannot, you can't, there's no way to sustain that type of relationship with a good looking woman. You need what they call back in my days an uggo. What? You don't marry the ones, you don't marry the ones that you like, you marry uh-huh. the ones that like you. It's safer. It's safer. It's yeah. ultimately safer. I think she liked you. Yeah, I don't know about that, sir. This sounds a little bit old fashioned. Not, not even that. Uh, yeah. Just not right. And honestly, it, 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 I'm looking for someone who is. And I'll go. To be, to be truthful, to be blunt, <laughs> it's, it's not as high maintenance. It's she. Okay, you know what? I ask you to give you more information. And this is what most men won't tell you. It is an insight into someone's insecurity. I will admit this. But at the same time, I can also address it to the point saying, you know what? I can't sustain that. I like her. She's great. She's absolutely great. Uh, if, if this even makes sense, she checked all the boxes on my side. It was wonderful. But the glaring reality is that she is absolutely gorgeous. Possibly even too gorgeous for me. I'll even go as far as say that. So this isn't really about the high maintenance so much as that maybe it's a way to protect yourself from her being stolen away by somebody else because she's so hot or having other people look at her. That is a great possibility. Interesting. That is a great possibility. That that concerns me. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Well, thanks for being honest. I appreciate it. Certainly. And thank you for your time. If you can hang on one second. Allegra is actually on the phone. She's been listening and wants to talk to you. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, like, well, how are you? How, how have you been? I mean, I've been sad because I've sent you a few messages, and I was over here thinking that I was not pretty enough for you. Oh. <laughs> Come to find out, I'm not ugly enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it, if, if, if you heard everything, you it is no it is no strike against you. It's as I was man enough to say, it could be in the area of an insecurity upon my part, what I've seen my other friends go through. Um, I don't want, I, what, what hurt me the most is for me to fall in love with you and um, you would um, you betray or cheat, me, cheat on me because I, I don't do well with pain. I don't. I, 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 I build up a wall and I, I try to operate behind it and you, you, you threaten it. You threaten it. I don't really get emotional. I'm sorry. I know you don't know that part of me, but that's that's pretty much how I operate, and that's that's why I I I I I do I would not be able to to to, to um maintain myself adequately if someone I like so much and was so beautiful hurt me in that way. Yeah, here's the thing, though, Harold. Like, I'm hoping that the beauty you see on the outside is also the beauty you'll see on my inside because I'm not that girl. I'm not the type of person who thinks looks are so important that I'm going to go run to the next good looking guy that gives me attention, which by the way, you are so hot. Like you have to understand like for a woman, it's not just your look, it's the whole package and you got it. Thank thank you. Thank you. I I, I appreciate that. I do. You know, Harold, uh, you shouldn't stay closed off to stuff just because you want to know. Well, you you think an ugo would be better for you. It doesn't make it safer. I mean, yeah. I think it's always scary when you like somebody. No, because- no, I, I, I agree. I agree. It's just, it's just a little hard. You know, it's a little hard. Have you seen a lot of, you've been hurt before and you've seen a lot of betrayal from your friends and that what's happened to them. It's it kind of, 
kind of shuts you down a little bit. And and as you're right, I shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't. Because she's great. She, you're great, Allegra. You're great. You okay. are. Okay. Well, then, Harold, would you like to go out with Allegra again on another date? We'll pay for it. Yes. <laughs> um, I will say this, Allegra. I don't need their money, but I will be glad to go on the date with you. So we don't have to pay for it, but you'll go on another date? <laughs> I, I definitely, because I'm a man. You know, I have to okay. keep that image up. <laughs> <laughs> Allegra, Allegra, wow, I would Allegra, love to go on a date. Allegra, it was real nice to hear from you. This has it been really a was. ride. Yeah, I, I think that if we go on another date, your insecurities are going to go away. Like, I, I'm, I'm here for this. Well, good. I, I, I think I need somebody to be here for that. Oh. I mean, I do. <laughs> yes, yeah, you do, Harold. Harold. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take something away from yourself because of things that have happened outside of you. <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. But really, right. Did, you don't need us to pay for the meal? That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> we'll keep his money. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, put it, I'll put it in writing. I'll put it in writing as well. Jubal's first date follow-up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorney. Online at advocateslaw.com. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T.com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. What up, guys? Hola, que tal? It's your girl Cheekies from the Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies podcasts. And guess what? We're back for another season. Get ready for all new episodes where I'll be dishing out honest advice, discussing important topics like relationships, women's health, and spirituality. I'm sharing my experiences with you guys, and I feel that everything that I've gone through has made me a wiser person. And if I can help anyone else through my experiences, I feel like I'm living my godly purpose. Listen to Cheekies and Chill and Dear Cheekies on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Sarah Jakes Roberts, host of the Woman Evolve podcast. You may also know me as a pastor, author, wife, mother, businesswoman, and leader. Women are shattering glass ceilings that once limited their ability to dream, grow, and change the world. Through honest conversations, sermons, and interviews with other dynamic women, my goal is to empower women around the world to elevate to the best versions of themselves. So girl, get up. Listen to the Woman Evolve podcast with Sarah Jakes Roberts every Wednesday on the Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.